Right, ladies and gents, holy sh! Welcome back to the channel. Where the hell have I been? What is this car? And what is going on? <laughs> uh, so, excuse me, I'm trying a new mic here. Uh, I don't know what it sounds like. Obviously, it's the first video doing uh, anything with it. And uh, obviously, we're in a new car. I've got a whole new setup going on here. So, hopefully, everything's nice and clear. But the title of the video I bought a Peugeot 308 GTI, which it is crazy but that's not the crazy bit right that's not the crazy bit there's so many stories that i need to like tell you guys so i made the last video and then I've, I've been super super busy recently for like the three months after that and then i bought this car and so much has happened so i've had this car for six months i'll touch on it a bit here i've had the car for six months but i actually haven't had the car for six months i'll leave it at that there's a whole nother video in that by itself it's going to take me absolutely ages to explain everything but in this video, I want to explain why I bought a 308 GTI, show you around the car, basically introduce you to the new car of the channel, uh, the plans and what we're going to do, and hopefully you'll enjoy the video. That's the plan anyway. Also, let me know about the quality and also the audio quality as well, if it's any better, any worse, which you prefer, old, new, whatever, and we'll figure something out. But first, let me get outside. Let me show you the car. I've just had it freshly polished and ceramic coated, had the wheels refurbished, everything. So it's looking tip, tip top. And I, I just need to show you guys. So give me two seconds. You're not ready for this. Oh my goodness gracious me. Anyway, let me show you the front. So yes, this is, da, 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 da. this is Piper, the 2018 uh, Peugeot 308 GTI by Peugeot Sport. Now, um, a lot of people don't know about this car, so I'll, I'll dive a little bit into like what it is, um, why it's such a special car, and why I bought this one in uh, specifics. But basically, yes, 2018, super low mileage. It's like 40 something thousand, uh, which is great, obviously. Uh, and being a by Peugeot Sport, it comes with a limited slip differential on the front and some absolutely massive, as you can see here, four pot 380 mil alcon brakes on the front which i'll tell you one thing are expensive and it's something we'll get onto but also very 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 good so yeah anyway it is a inline four 1.6 liter turbocharged petrol engine 272 ish horsepower pretty insane and all of that is powered through the front wheels so front wheel drive now an interesting thing to note about the uh, 308 gti especially the peugeot sports i think the 208 gti as well is the fact that all the engines are pretty sure are hand built and i know for definite that they are forged from the factory they can take a pretty decent amount of boost but yeah as you can see you got a lovely little body kit on it i'm sure everyone's seen a 308 before not many people have seen the 308 gti so so just touching again on the wheels diamond cut i had these refurbed and they were not terrible but as everyone knows with diamond cut they just go crap pretty instantly so started corroding around the edges and stuff so i got them redone just before i had it all uh polished and today is pretty much the day where i picked it up and as you can see it's so bloody shiny I mean, look at that so i've had it yeah fully single stage polished. so it's not absolutely perfect right uh there's a few stone chips here and there and there was some pretty bad uh, hologramming on the side from what the dealer did even though I asked them not to touch the car. They did it anyway, uh, so they tried to clean and buff out loads of stuff. But Mike has done a fantastic job here trying to, you know, clean up everything. And uh, if I do say so myself, it looks insane. So I guess the question is, why did I buy this when I've got the Focus? And, well, I don't have the Focus anymore. I wanted something that... <sighs> I just, I, I miss the love of petrol, right? I had the Focus, which was a 1.6 diesel for the longest of times. Great for like dailying. Um, but really I couldn't justify like a short 15 mile trip there and back uh, for, for a diesel. I kind of miss the petrol and the power that it makes. So going from the remapped 140 odd horsepower that the Focus was to the standard 272 that this is, is an absolute game changer. Not to mention obviously petrol sounds insane, the power gains and just in general is better for like track stuff. And this is definitely where I wanna go with this car. So I do, I wanna end up taking this on track eventually. Um, there is some things I need to touch on and some things I need to fix first with it. Notably the brakes, which are quite a common issue. Remember I said they're expensive? Yeah, that will be a video in itself. I've ordered all the parts, but essentially that the, um, on the Peugeot Sports with the Alcon, upgraded disc the pistons in them 
uh, actually do end up like corroding the outsides of the chrome plated basically so they end up corroding and eventually will seize. I don't think these have been done uh, and I'm pretty sure that that corrosion process is starting on this so I need to get it done. I'm hoping I can do it myself. I'm not really that sure what I'm going to do. Maybe it's just worth taking it to the garage. I need to just see but I do need to do it at some point. Um, there's a few other things which I've done obviously like I said I refurbed the wheels had the paint uh, corrected and it's looking absolutely fantastic. And then one little thing on all GTIs, even the 208 GTI that we had, this red stripe, I, uh, I just ended up putting a bit of vinyl around it and uh, making it more red. And I'm hoping to do that exact red on this little piece down here because it is red, but it's not red, red. And I want it red, 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 red. So that's the plan. But yeah, this, this car's insane, the spec's absolutely phenomenal. I'll show you around the inside in a minute. Obviously full LED headlights, insane. You've got the facelift front bumpers, obviously wheels, the side skirts and the rear, um, the rear diffuser with the twin exhaust, which looks insane. I think these, uh, the GTIs come with tinted tail lights already. So they look really, really nice. And obviously the biggest thing, obviously from the Focus not having any boot space, we've got some boot space again. <laughs> so, I'll show you the back really quickly. So currently I've got my gym bag and stuff in here, but you can see it's like this lovely leather and like an Alcantara sort of finish. Uh, it's mirrored on the front seats as well, but this is the back, so plenty of room. And then everywhere has got this like a red stitching on leather. It's stunning. And then moving to the front, uh, excuse the inside. We haven't got to that bit yet, um, but yeah, here we go. So this is the cockpit of the 308 GTI. Now the Peugeot Sports come with these fancy, cool massaging, adjustable, all sorts and fancy things seats with the Alcantara and the leather and obviously a bit of cloth on the inside. I love this like combo of seat. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And then mirror that with the, uh, with the tiny little baby steering wheel. If we get in quickly, I'll show you what I mean. So this wheel is absolutely tiny. So normally you get like a car where you can see stuff through this bit. But Peugeot, everything is at like above and it's uh, it's pretty weird. But it is something that you get used to eventually. So yeah, everything else in here. So yeah, the seats are super duper comfy. The only unfortunate thing about this is that you get one cup holder, which is slightly annoying because it's not enough. Um, but yeah, six speed manual gearbox, which is okay. Uh, the throw could be a bit shorter. It's quite long. So it just means another, you know, potential upgrade opportunity, if anything else. Then obviously you've got the stereo, which comes with Apple CarPlay and all the other standard stuff, which you would expect. You can see my phone's just chilling there. Um, and then a big sports button. So what I'll do is I'll quickly turn on the dash for you. So we just, obviously it's keyless. So you just press the button and you see everything starts powering on. You get all the fancy lights and stuff. Uh, it's got full climate control. You can see Apple CarPlay pops right up. But if we go over here, we got full climbing control, which is very nice. Uh, just set and forget sort of thing, which is really, really nice. I like that. Uh, and then it's just asking me to declutch and start. So what I will do is I will put you out the back because I have already done a couple of upgrades. The resonator. So it's no longer got a resonator. So it's got that bit of extra punch. And also dump valve on the 308 GTI is atmospheric. However, there's a filter in it. I took the filter out. So you get the psh, uh, from the induction and obviously a bit more oomph on the back. And I think the sound is absolutely spot on, especially if we want to start going on track. So what I'll do, let me get out there. I'm going to prop you up and hopefully you'll get it. I'll, I'll, I'll pop the mic right next to it and hopefully you'll get like a really, really nice sound. The exhaust should be warm. When it's cold, it's quite tinny. Uh, it's saying that the temperature is still warm. So I'm hoping that the exhaust is warm and you'll get like a nice note. But let me whack you right next to the exhaust and we'll give you a few revs and maybe even like a drive by. I don't know, see what we can do. I don't really want to piss people off in this area, to be honest. Was that I hope that wasn't uh, that wasn't too bad but what I will say is that this thing when it's just standing there isn't really that impressive but when you start going oh my god it sounds 
insane. I, I need to, what I need to do, I'll set up a rig and do like a video where it's just like exhaust and induction noise because I've got two of these mics. I'll mic up the rear and I'll mic up the front and like sort of put the camera in like this sort of angle, maybe even attach it to my head or something. I think you're gonna struggle to hear it, to be honest. I needed something a bit, like a bit of a change, and obviously there's a lot of cars out there that I could have chosen. Megan RS, uh, Focus ST, uh, all sorts of stuff. In fact, when I first began my search, I did actually start with BMW M2s and C63s. And you might be wondering, well, blimey, if you started with that, well, how did you end up with a Peugeot? Uh, long story short, we still need to buy a house this year. Uh, and I wanted a new car. So I thought, what's like something that is cheap and most people don't like? Peugeot's, right? Uh, we had a 2.8 GTI before and I absolutely adored the thing and I thought, nah, it's time, man. I, I, I need to get a little 308. I've always wanted a 308 GTI. So here we are, man. Anyway, the Focus is gone. It is sold. Uh, I did make a big video about it. I sold it to um, Emily's brother. So my girlfriend's brother. He's still rocking it, still loving it. Uh, I'm pretty sure there'll be loads of pictures and stuff available for you to go and uh, to go and see on his Instagram. I'll repost them and then you guys will be able to find his content and stuff. But um, yeah, it, it, it was time to go. I had the car for ages and I just thought, you know, I, I need something different. And this is this has sparked something inside me again to get excited about. And I'm hoping I can make, you know, just loads of videos about it and just bring you guys along the way exactly the way I did with the Focus, you know? Everything I do, I just whack a camera on me and upload it and everyone seems to like it. Anyway, guys, it's a nice, quick, short video. I hope you guys like it. There's so many things I want to film and get up to and hopefully the weather's playing ball. At the moment, the weather's nice and clear. So I'm hoping that it will stay this way and we, that we can, you know, make some videos and stuff. You never know in the UK, man. One day it's sunny, next minute it's um, it's thunderstorming and rain, and then it's sunny again, and then it's snowing. So yeah, God knows. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you're excited to see, obviously, what we get up to with the 308, uh, hit the subscribe button, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it as as much as I do, really. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.